Hey, let's go on a photo walk with T Dot Shots and David Paul. Explain what we've been doing today. Yeah, so today we uh, we went on a street photography walk, and that was just a little jaunt around Toronto, you know, exchanging tips and information. Yeah, the social aspect is actually a key, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. It's, it's actually been fantastic to put a face to uh, a lot of these IG names. That's right. Uh, it's been really great to meet everybody and just talk, you know, like it, it's especially nowadays with not having as much social interaction and so on and so forth uh, and getting out and doing something we all love and sharing that similar passion. Hey, can I ask you a question? Sure. What's your name? Nicole. What are you shooting today? The street. Hey, my name's Scott. And how's the weather? Not bad. It's a little cool. Fingers are a little uh, frosty, but it's all right. When you come out on a day like this, do you have some shots or some things you want to try before you come out or you're improvising? Lately, I've been looking at the context of what people are missing or like, especially around this time of year. So I end up shooting a lot of homeless people around this time of year because as much as this is a joyous time, uh, you know, I think it's also to remember, a good time to remember let the less fortunate people around us. Uh, and I also start to think about like uh, what What's actually happening today? So, like, what's important? What, where, where is going to be the, the best and most opportune place for me to actually get a good photo? Can you very, very quickly tell us about the camera that you're using? Yeah. And have you considered changing your camera or doing any uh, evolution uh, of that? Yeah. So I have a Sony A7 III uh, with a Sigma 135 lens on right now. Um, I'm considering upgrading to a Sony A7 IV once it's available. Did you say earlier that you had a different lens on? Yeah, on yeah. Camera? Earlier I had a Sigma 14-24, to uh, right. which is a, a wide lens. It's 2.8, so it's got a lets in lots of light and it's good for lots of different scenarios. Where this lens is very good at capturing more tight subjects and, and more of like a portrait style lens. Right. The other lens is a bit more for landscapes and capturing wide field of things you can use it for whatever you want obviously but uh, it's generally made made more for that sort of shot can you tell us about your approach regarding shooting modes like are you shooting in manual or priority modes or auto or what's your typical thing uh, I personally shoot manual mode that's not because of anything other than I, I, I just taught myself it and it just makes me think about how my camera operates what, uh, and it helps me understand exposure and the limitations within my camera's um, abilities. So that's not to say that any other mode is bad. That's not the case at all. Uh, if you like to go out and shoot with aperture priority mode because it's easier for you, or uh, in a shutter priority mode, hey, that's fine too. And hell, auto is fine too. There's nothing wrong with any of these modes. Uh, it all depends on what you want as a person. If you want to have the skill set to know exactly what your camera's gonna do then you know go ahead and shoot in manual mode but right. if it's just something you just want to do for fun and you just want to go out and accomplish something then why not just put it in a, a mode that takes away some of the thinking I have to say a big thank you thank you thank you everyone for coming this was fantastic and thank you Mike this was great I really appreciate it cheers Dave cheers thanks for watching and thank you to everybody who came out to the photo walk See you next time. T Dot Shots has an online community called T Dot Studio. Join us there. You can register for events and take our courses.